Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today I'm going to show you how to coat the new Proline Ultralight Lectern Wing. Okay, so first off, this is how the wings come. They come two in a pack, they're together. And what I'll do to start is just separate them with the body scissors along this line to divide them. So I'll just cut that down the center with the body scissors. I'll do that on both sides, and I'll go all the way down here, all the way to the center here where it's this, this flat uh, part is. This is one of the harder parts of cutting the wing because it is so thick. So when I cut that out with scissors, um, I want to make sure that with the scissors I'll cut right dead center between these two part lines. Just to make sure you have enough room so when you score it you can break it off with pliers so you have something to, to grab onto there. And then when I go and score this with the knife, I'll do it right on the cut line so that way you have a nice smooth line instead of doing two cuts you just have the one there um, to get the one wing off. So I'll do that. Score. You get Make sure you have a nice sharp blade. Score that, and then I'll go and just you can just bend it on the break on the, the line. It'll break apart, and then you just separate the wings. So then there you have this. The one edge is already done for you. So then I'll go after, and then I'll score the remaining lines. These lines here, and then I'll do that all the way around the wing, and then I'll break them off with pliers also. And another trick I do with this, when you do the score, because it's a bend here, it's harder to break. So I'll go in with the scissors and just cut the very, the, right at the bend. And that way you can break each piece off um, straight instead of trying to do an angle. So you just keep bending it like that, and then that piece will come off clean. And I'll just do that all the way around. I'll cut here and here also, so you don't have that corner to try to do. Like that. So it'll look like that. Nice clean edge. I'll do that all the way around the wing and then I'll do the next step. Okay, so I got the wing all cut out now, all around the sides. I've left the top or the back of it tall still. Um, you can see there's three lines what you can have your uh, worker bill height. Um, I have a finished wing here. I found to be the best is I bend it on the second line. Um, so I have leave one line there, second line I bend, and then I cut um, on the third line for the, the bent piece. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then also what we've done to help it from breaking is we drill a hole here in the wing before I cut anything. That way it's a nice rounded edge so when your wing um, if you crash or something, you bend it, it doesn't have a sharp edge to kind of start to tear away. It's rounded and it'll, it'll last a lot longer. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So since I'm cutting on the, um, I'm actually leaving, uh, folding on the second line, leaving this line, I'll drill a hole right on the corner, right, right about here, right where that edge is. That's kind of where I mark it. So I'll start drilling a hole right at the edge of that line, the second line. Body reamer. So I do that on both sides, and then once I've got that done, I can cut the, the edge down to where that it meets the circle there. So then I'll cut from this all the way to that circle there. just so it meets down, makes a nice line there. Do that on both sides. So then you have it looking like that. A nice rounded edge on both sides. And then, since these lines are like a fairly 
uh, large indent it's pretty easy to bend them what I'll do is start start the bend with the pliers just to kind of get you going on there I'll do three spots one on each side and then one in the middle and then you can just do it with your hands after that bend it along that line it does bend pretty easily to get it done. Just kind of massage it to where you want it. You don't have to have it at a 90 degree angle either. You can have it at a 45, um, kind of just whatever you want. So it should look like that now. And then to finish it, I'll cut, I'll score it again, right kind of in front of the last the last line there and that's for me I found is like for for my car and how I have my car set up is the best length for me so I'll go and cut along that line with a uh, hobby knife again And then this part, I'll bend it back up with just a little bit just so it's so you can get a bend on it. And then I'll just break it on that line again, just like I did with the rest of the, the wing. This one has a fairly big chunk you can break off anyway, so I can just do it with my hands. If you don't get it deep enough where it starts to bend, um, other than the cut line, you can just score it a couple times more. Uh, usually you only need one, but sometimes you do need a second time. Okay. So once I get that broken off, I'll bend it back down to where I want it. And I like mine to be at a 90 degree angle, so it's a kind of, it's parallel with the the face of the wing here. So then once I got that all bent down, um, I do drill three holes in each. They give you the markings right there. I'll just follow those uh, holes. And for, for what I've liked anyway, I've only liked three. Um, I know you can you could put more here. Um, but as far as that goes, I do three there. And then I'll go and clean up these lines. I'll show you here. Uh, just kind of round these off just so they're not so sharp and then I'll scuff it with some scotch bright and it'll turn out like this nice kind of frosted look um, I know a lot of people just run it clear but I, I like the looks of this better um, so that's how you cut out the wing uh, make sure you do those two holes because it does make the wing last a lot longer than just making a two cut lines um, so that's my video um, hope you like it and hopefully you like the wing thanks for watching